All right, guys, we're gonna do a tutorial today, all right? I'm gonna show you how I created this one here with the dark blue background with the really heavily textured flowers and vines. Um, we're gonna talk a lot about how I did the branches because I've had a lot of questions about that. So I have a canvas completely ready to go. Brand new, it's a level three, 24 by 24. I buy these at Michael's, um, but I love to get them when they're on sale. I don't usually ever pay full price. And actually, it was free to have delivery. So I ordered a bunch of them the other day and a young lady brought them straight up to my door so I didn't even have to get out of the house. Um, we are gonna start with this 24 by 24 and I am going to grab the dusty brush from Hate Pixie. I love using a large brush, especially for my backgrounds. And I am just gonna start pouring this straight onto my bristles. I'm gonna use this fluorescent red. Most of this will be covered up, but we are getting our canvas prepped and ready. All right, background is on and looking bold and vibrant. Again, it is the background color that you will see creeping all around this color and texture. So, we're gonna start with the branches and the vines. We're gonna get several shades of brown. You don't have to be exact. Just pick your browns that you have. Pick an off-white, pick a metallic. I'm gonna go with copper. I have a charcoal gray and an off-white. And together, I'm gonna put all of those colors down on my palette. I'm gonna use a brush that's gonna hold quite a bit of paint. This is the shortstop from Paint Pixie. And I'm going to lay down basically the texture and the width of what I want my branches to be. I'm not even sure what flower we're going to do just yet. Um, I'm gonna get just a lot of, um, as if the camera were zoomed in on a branch, a bush, a type of tree, um, whatever that looks like for you. I want mine to be, you know, not chunky like an actual tree stump, tree stump but pretty woody and um, woody meaning lots of wood. That's what I'm looking for. So whatever that vine looks like for you, it could be wisteria, you might wanna do purple. Um, I really like the big tropical style blooms myself, so that's the look I'm personally gonna go for. So I'm gonna get my palette full of paint and we're gonna get started with the uh, short stop brush. so I'm warm to say the least here in the studio. I have my greens all laid out. I also have an ivory color. And I also have a teal, dark teal color called Bohemian Blue. Um, and together I am going to create some leaves that are similar, not quite as large as our inspiration piece.
really adding texture to the blooms. And I feel like they look more realistic when you're able to do that. So I just kept going back and forth between the darker color and the lighter color, the highlighter and the low lighter. Now I'm gonna grab all of my blues and start framing out the flowers. before we're going to be done. Again, this is our inspiration right here. It's on a smaller canvas, so it's a little bit differently. The blooms look a little bit different. The branches look a little different, and the leaves do too. But we wanna create our own original look as well. So what all I'm gonna do now is go back to my greens, and I'm gonna start kind of wrapping those green leaves around the blooms to really customize it. creating a similar look, but not exact. What do you think? Will you try it? If you do, let me know. Tag me at the Turquoise Iris, and I would love to share your work. Just to recap, the brushes I used were the short stop, the angled brush, and the mop brush, all from the Turquoise Iris collection. Thank you, and enjoy. Mm -hmm. 